35 years ago this week, Ron Wood of the Rolling Stones and the Faces was on CNN on a program called One to One. And he was interviewed about his book, his art book called The Works, and talked about how he gave up being an artist to be a musician to pay the bills, but uh, always kept his foot in in art and, and how it's truly his passion. It's a neat little interview. talks about being a hired hand in the Stones before gaining full membership. You think any Stones fan... Or, or, or Woody fan will enjoy this interview immensely. And don't you switch channels. We'll be right back with rocker Ron Wood. And now back to One on One on CNN. After a decade with such bands as the Jeff Beck Group and the legendary Faces, Guitarist Ron Wood became a member of the band many call the greatest group in rock and roll, the Rolling Stones, for himself for years. Along the way, Wood pursued his avocation, painting and graphic arts, often painting the rock and roll luminaries he encountered on the road. Now that the Rolling Stones have ceased performing together, something Wood describes as a break, his artworks have come to the public in gallery shows and in his book. The book is autobiographical, but as he told Dennis Michael one-on-one, -on -one, the full story of the Stones has yet to be told. Uh, it was something from when I was a kid that I used to sort of uh, have these out-of-proportion dreams of you know, becoming like a scenic artist or, uh, uh, you know, doing murals or decorating the Sistine Chapel again or something. You know. There were very few openings, no money, of course. I mean, survival money. I wasn't talking about, you know, icing on the cake money. So I realized when um, I was in my first group, if we did one show, I earned small money, but it was still more than I'd earn in a week when I was doing my first job as an artist. And so music won out. Yeah. And I put the art on the back shelf. Does it feel good to let the artist out? Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. Oh, because okay. every musician is a show-off, <laughs> whether they like it or not. So uh, to show your work uh, in public, whether it's on the guitar or whatever, or, and paint, is uh, uh, something I think is, has to take its course. Tell me about your becoming a Rolling Stone. You say in your book that you knew you were going to be a Rolling Stone ten years before you joined the band. I think it's got a lot to do with uh, a lot of front. You know, I had more front than Harrods, as we say. It's just pursuing um, something to the hilt, really. I just followed my um, ambitions, you know, like I knew I related through the uh, material that the Stones played, you know, all the, where they drew the influences from. I knew we had lots in common there. I knew we had lots in common sense of humor-wise and um, just as guys, I, I knew I'd get on with them. And I just thought, nothing more of it. I thought, well, that's my kind of band, you know. And uh, so it was no surprise to me when I was actually in the band. And everybody else goes, you know, how did you? manipulate this and then it was just fate I'm a, I'm a big believer in uh, in fate and yet for the first 10 years you were with the group you were a salaried player and not not a full-fledged member oh sure i mean they're slave drivers they don't give you anything easy you know uh, if if they know that you uh, messed up on on a business transaction which they knew i was i'm the world's worst businessman uh i don't mind suffering that way because uh I'm lucky enough to be a musician and a, an artist, so I, I can't be expected to be a businessman too. Although I try, but what, they did, what the Stones have always done to me is uh, if people say, um, you know, why were you uh, undercutting yourself here? Why are you salaried for this amount of time? And, uh, and I'll say, 
Well, I thought I was doing the best thing, you know, and then Bill or somebody would turn around and say, well, you could have been an equal split from the start if you'd have looked at this, if you'd have sussed this out, you know, and they only give you respect if you um, have strength in your convic convictions enough to, you know, have a little bit of insight into various loopholes that, or sort of potholes that you could fall into. If you fall down them, they just laugh. And if uh, you avoid them, then they give you the credit and say, right, you know, we weren't going to tell you about that, but you made the right move. So it's a competitive place to be in this band. Oh, yeah. The question you're probably asked an awful lot, what's it like being inside the Rolling Stones? It's an ongoing uh, comedy show. I mean, it's hilarious, uh, some of the things that happen. Uh, I like the fact that None of us, uh, none of them really hold grudges or something. You know, if there's a problem, it's usually brought straight out and brought to the surface and dispensed with, you know. Uh, mind you, I don't know what's happened recently. But <laughs> I see, uh, I see an end to all the little internal uh, misunderstandings. And Is there an inevitability about the Rolling Stones? Is it almost preordained that the band will eventually get back together? Yeah, I think it will be... Uh, criminal if they don't. I mean, it would be very um, dissatisfying, you know, it, to the members in the band and uh, to, the, to the kids and, and the people that have, a lot of them have grown up with the Stones or just turned on to them or something. It would be a shame as uh, we are all still capable of getting up and doing it to just disintegrate like this, you know, and uh, I, I I believe strongly that we'll get back. Along with developing his career as a graphic artist, Ron Wood has turned restaurateur with the opening of Woody's, a rock club in Florida. And most recently kept his guitar skills from getting rusty by touring with another rock legend, Bo Diddley. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. I can't play a lick. That's why I'm a taper. Thanks for watching the channel and making it grow. If you want to subscribe, that'd be appreciated. Patreon and GoFundMe would be appreciated. Maybe I could get guitar lessons.